May God bless you, my beloved brothers and sisters. Once more, we get, we get this great privilege to come in front of you by His mercy, by the mercy of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We are here, my beloved, once more, just to take your 10 minutes or 15 minutes to talk about life, you see. Because there is no life in this world without the Lord. Because the Bible says most of the people, they die to redeem, but they think they are alive. You see, this breath we have, we are breathing, without God's word, my beloved, I'm telling you, we are already died. Because if God created heaven and earth by his word, the spoken word God spoke, and he tried to bring his mercy upon us to start using human beings like us those ones we call prophet there is two different prophets don't believe any prophet there is other prophet those one they are there just to prophesy in the church in the assembly in the tabernacle they can do that as a gift but there is another prophet that is a great prophet who came with dust said the lord to save people is Moses, is Jeremiah, is Daniel, is Elijah. All those prophets they came with God's word as John the Baptist. He came to prepare the way of Jesus Christ. There is a word, the word came by the prophet. Jesus cannot come by himself. We must, do, what I can say, John, John the Baptist must come firstly. That's why the prophet Isaiah says in the book of Isaiah chapter 4, 40 yes chapter 40 says i sent my messenger to prepare my way you see and the messenger we did come it was not uh, just an angel came from heaven an angel of god it was john the baptist you see and when he came as a prophet of god the word who was jesus christ cannot come without a prophet a prophet must be there to introduce to introduce word God, to understand. So the people don't take their time to read correctly this Bible. They just call it the interpretation, the wrongly one, and those one is big, good, and those ones are not. And they mix that. That is the confusion that is happened in the Old Testament. You see. So brought the Sodom and Gomorrah, it brought the time of the prophet Noah. Because of what they, when you mix the mind of God, the eternal mind of God with our own, we've been killed. That's why we are talking about that. The death, it rings this world. So God, by his mercy, he gave his own life, his own blood. Because in blood, there is a life, you see. And that life is in top, inside of that blood of Jesus Christ came out that day. It didn't go down. The life is a spiritual, you understand? Know it's a spiritual, something you cannot see with our eyes. That came out that day in the cross. And that life is the Holy Ghost. You see, the Spirit of God. That is what's in Jesus Christ is the Son of God. That day, remember when he was died in the cross, regarding the book of Psalms, chapter 22, the Lord, the David, as a prophet of God, says the things that support, it, 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 it happened in the cross that day. But the people, when they reject the scripture, they can read, but they cannot understand exactly what the Psalm, Psalms 22 says. Do you understand? So, God cannot do something before he says that before. God proclaim everything. It's just us. We try to forget to put the scripture away. The Holy Scripture tells us everything that happened in the beginning, happened in long ages. And that's the generation, and that's happening today. God is the same, we never change. All the things is written here. For the time we are living, it will happen one by one. No one tells you, no, listen, no, you know, you see, no. 
That's why when we came here, without coming with our own mind, we took the scripture. That's why we are giving always chapter this, chapter that. So we can understand why we can take position. Remember what we said last time. How can I get this rest? It means the rest is not that we remember. Let us take that as an example on our, our, our own life. On our own life, Early in the morning, you can wake up for those ones, they have job here, us in South Africa, we're just struggling left and right. But others, those ones, they are waking properly, you see. You wake up early in the morning, you went to work. He knows from half past seven, I must be at work, a.m. Or around eight, I will start. Then when you wake during the day, uh, you can get pause around 12, around 1, something like this. You can finish his job around 4, half past 3, around 5, like others. You see, and you return back home. When you return back home, others are waking until 6, those ones are waking to shop. Depends on your, uh, the, the program of your work. When you finish, you return back home. So when you return back home, you need to do what? To rest. After taking bath, you eat something, you drink something, you need to rest. It's the same things in the spiritually. Do you understand? God himself created heaven and earth. He did everything in heaven and earth during six days. After six days, God rest in the seventh day and sanctified that day, said, for me to be worshipped to understand and Israel was respecting that they was preparing their Sabbath on the sixth day and the seventh day they was there they cannot buy they cannot do anything just the sanctify that day that the same things as we have to do spiritually because God threatened with them physically there was so the pillars fire the pillar of fire physically like this they were seeing the cloud physically so as is it spiritually that cloud they need to be to dwell in you is the lord jesus christ in his second coming regarding in the book of revelation chapter 10 from verse 1 to 7 verse 7 you see and this pillar of fire is the lord jesus christ the same yesterday today and forever regarding in the book of luke 17 chapter 30 the son of god came again once more. You know what they said? So the people didn't take their time to analyze those scriptures. You see, that is the problem we have this time we are living. The people rejecting the scriptures, the holy scripture that is being promised to give us the Holy Spirit, the rest. That the rest you are talking is God himself came once more in us. Why? Because he did give his own blood to sanctify us. God knows we born in unity and sin and transgression. Which things have been translated for us to be born and be condemned? It was the word of God. You see, God says to them, don't do that. They did it, listen to the devil. You see, the open this door. This door is the door to put wrong things in your brain, in your heart, and to destroy your life. To take a bad decision to do something bad to someone is like you. You see, you look alike. You can take a good decision to start doing wrong things, but if you have his spirit in you it will change you and brought you the new life and that life that we always say is to be born again in christ to receive christ himself that the rest you see to rest with all the things god rest you see it means he created things of this world and rest and the same things when you receive him the holy spirit you will be rested Rest on the things of this world to get a new life. That the only things we come to do here, one another, you see, so we can be able to receive something this flesh cannot give to you. 
That cannot come by miracle, not by speaking tongue. Tongue, they say, is the sign, is something for unbelief. In the book of 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 14. You understand? So we need to get that rest. And we told you the procedure of for us to reach that procedure, that rest is to start by confess every day to repent. And when you are listening to this word, we will bring the sanctification. Because the only things that can cleanse you and sanctify you, you see, for you to be ready to get that rest, which is the gift of Holy Spirit, the third step. Uh, stage of Holy Spirit is the baptism of Holy Ghost and your rest. And that has been sealed by the seventh seal. And the seventh seal in the book of Revelation chapter 10 been revealed. And the people still blind it because they don't want to read. They don't want to know exactly where this thing has been revealed because they reject the great prophet that came who came with that said the Lord. You see, why there is a secret? That's it. That book of Revelations of seven seals is everywhere in the voice of God recording. Just take your time, go on Google, tap, uh, search, looking for voice of God recording. You'll find the voice of God and you say, no, I need to buy the book of Revelation of seven seals. Seven seals. When you buy this book, take your time to read it. You are reading many books, but why not the book of the prophet came to be built to us in the time of your living? Take your time. And from that book, you'll get a new mind. You'll see the Bible came new for you. And you will take your time and the Spirit of God will help you because it's that God promised to us in the time of May the Lord God bless you, as I said, 10 to 15 minutes. I just stop here. I really love you. Happy Sunday to everyone. May the God bless you. Don't uh, forget to pray one another, to pray for our families, so for the kids, uh, for our authorities, African authority, and uh, uh, on, on the worldwide, we have to pray. The time is so bad. Let us to be close to God. Don't forget to pray when you wake up. During the day when you feel something tell you, go pray, go pray. You see, before you sleep, sing one song and go pray before you go on the bed, before your bedtime. You see, before to eat something, pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sanctify, sanctify those things because the, the chemical things is in everything we are eating, drinking today. We must be careful. So when you pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, regarding the book of Mark 16, you see, uh, verse 15 to 18, you read what the Bible says that there, you'll see the food will be sanctified. Something is being mixed with the chemical product that can brought cancer to you. It cannot brought cancer to you. You'll see, you'll be, you'll be, you, you, you'll eat something else because God is God is not a creator it's something uh, someone being created no even devil who most of people are saving is being created it's only God that as we are trying to come to preach you we are telling you to tell you to teach one another regarding on what's been written written here he can save and keep you safe and by his mercy you can survive for long if jesus didn't yet care may the lord god bless you don't forget to pray even for your water pray for it even for your clothes you see and god of mercy will fulfill his scripture we gave it to you god bless you may the peace of the lord be with you bye i love you